Hey everyone, just wanted to show off my new solar setup. It's a 100 watt Renogy MPPT 20 amp charge controller kit. You can buy on Amazon. The link is down below. I used to have, I bought the, I was a sucker and bought the first uh, Harbor Freight 45 watt kit for I think $199. You can now get this for uh, $325, I believe, on Amazon. Um, I'm just going to walk through and show you the components. I'm very satisfied with it. It's night and day compared to the Harbor Freight kit, which is on the side of my house now. But here we go. So I do have two gel sealed batteries I bought on Craigslist. I don't know how good they are. Um, hooked up in parallel obviously and I'll find out soon enough if they're good or not good hoping for the best I'm not sure what the uh, amp hours are yet I'm gonna find out here's the here's what you pay a little bit of money for more than the uh, PWM controller and that's for an MPPT charge controller hopefully I got the first one right so right now I'm running <laughs> remnants of uh, cannibalized my Harbor Freight kit a little bit. I just want some DC output. So I'm using the charge controller, but not as a charge controller, just for the DC outputs. I'm wiring that directly in to, uh, actually it's going into my output, my draw on my charge controller there. So I'm only using the DC outputs, the USB, the lights, um the dc output there but right now as you can see i'm running to the harbor freight lights i'm running a uh a cell phone i just got it going on right now charged it and my laptop and just kind of showing you what i'm running there we'll go through the kind of the metrics here or whatever the numbers and show you what's going on 13.5 watts battery output right now that's the voltage coming off my panel 18.3 volts um so it's draw it's the panel's producing right now and i've got full sun right now here in las vegas three point you know roughly three amps 100 percent it's at 100% even with my draw because I'm obviously not drawing enough to overcome the full sun right now. Battery strong, 13.5, or battery bank is strong, 13.5 volts. My draw, here's my draw right now. It's one point, you know, roughly 1.8 amps, and I'm bringing in three with just, you know, with these items so that's right there night and day compared to the harbor freight kit um i never had quite the surplus in fact i was always draining these batteries pretty quick so i'm not quite sure i gotta learn more about these uh settings here six amp hours whatever that means uh that's the temperature and I don't know if they convert to Fahrenheit or not, um, but it's got all, the charge controller's awesome. It's got all kinds of warnings if stuff's overheating and definitely worth the money. The charge controller's bigger than it looks in the picture. You know, it's kind of FYI, I thought it was bigger, but I love the settings. Um, I'm not really doing a review, but just kind of the, I saw another review on it and the guy's right. These, these lights right here are all the same color and the back screen doesn't have an optional light up. That would be nicer. Those are the only cons that I could see. And I agree with the, uh, boy, I think it was Desert Prepper. I'm not sure. Air codes, and that's it. So here's that. Very excited. I I don't really have demand for it. The, the overall goal is to do a um, portable solar generator do it yourself with a hand truck and stuff i saw that on youtube somewhere too i think it's the same guy but uh just kind of hastily set this up let's look at the panel it's 
one panel, 100 watt panel, but we're cooking. We're, we're getting full sun. My batteries, my battery bank went from, I think, 60% this morning to set to 100% in less than three hours, it seems. So that was quick. Very happy. All right, thanks for watching.